So this story will let you know if a hacker wants to hack you, they'll do it by any means necessary. What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie, and today I have some more cyber news. And the article that we'll be covering is about a recent LastPass security breach. And if you don't know what LastPass is, it's basically a popular password manager tool used by millions of people worldwide. And it's been in the news for all the wrong reasons recently. Now check this out, according to reports, some hackers managed to gain access to the company's password vaults by breaking into an employee's computer, which I thought was super interesting. And that's kind of why I wanted to cover this. And this is by far like a major security incident and it highlights the importance of securing sensitive information at work as well as on your personal computer. So let's go down and hop over to the article and cover exactly what happened. All right, so this article is on Engadget.com. And of course, I always have a link down in the description of the video. And go down and like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I try to cover as many of these articles as possible that deal with cybersecurity or tech in general. But let's go down and hop to it. But it says, LastPass says hackers broke into an employee PC to steal company's password vaults. And it says the bad actor needed the engineer's login to access the company's cloud storage. And that's exactly what they did. You know what I'm saying? They hacked this computer, but let's talk about, or let's check out how he actually did it. Now this article was released on February 28th, uh, basically this morning at 2 a.m. And it says LastPass has posted an update on the investigation regarding a couple of security incidents, incidents that took place last year. And I believe I covered uh, at least one of them. Uh, I remember they got, you know, someone got into their cloud storage. Uh, and so this is basically how they actually did it. But it says and they're sounding graver than previously thought. Apparently, the bad actors involved in this incident also infiltrated a company DevOps engineer's home computer by exploiting a third party media software package. It also says they implemented a keylogger into software, which they then used to capture the engineer's master password for an account with access to the LastPass corporate vault. Now, that's crazy right there. Um, but one thing I thought, or at least I thought most companies did, was they provide the computer for the person that's, you know, working remote. I didn't know you could log in from your personal computer. I've, I've never logged into an organization via the VPN or anything like that from my personal computer. I always use a work computer that's provided by the company. And I only do things that I can do on that one computer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't access my personal email. I don't access anything outside of that. When you work from home, the best way to do it is to have your work computer that's specifically just for work. And then you have your personal computer and you can have them right next to each other if you have a desk or something to that effect. Uh, so you don't get them you know, mixed up or whatever. You have both of them there. You can do what you need to do for work. And if you need to, I don't know, check something or check your email or something or check, look, do a search on certain things um, that you need for work, then you would do it on that part on your personal computer. But it says after they got in, they exported the vaults, entries and shared folders that contain decryption keys needed to unlock cloud based Amazon S3 buckets with customer vault backups. Yeah, and so that's kind of how they got into it. And that's the thing, like I wouldn't have a, a, a vault that has work passwords and keys and stuff stored on my personal computer. That'll only be stored on the work computer. Now I know some companies don't, you know, provide systems for their users. Well, do this exact same thing. Uh, if you wanna work from home, then have a dedicated computer just for connecting to work and you don't do anything outside of work on that system that's a good way to actually you know protect yourself because you could potentially get blamed for this you know what i'm saying uh even if you're using even though you're using your personal computer and they don't 
provide any computer for you you want to make sure you know everything is separate that's i don't know that's just best practice that's my tip that's my thoughts on you know this first paragraph but it says this latest update in last pass investigation gives us a clear picture of how the two security breaches breach incidents it went through last year were connected if you recall last pass revealed in august 2022 that an unauthorized port again address uh, access or entry into the systems is systems uh, while the first incident ended on august 12th the company said in its new announcement that the threat actors were actively engaged in a new series of reconnaissance enumeration and exfiltration activities aligned to the cloud storage environment spanning from august 12th uh, 2022 to October 26, 2022. And I remember that second announcement. I don't remember the first one too well, but I do remember that second one uh, where they were saying that that's what was going on. Now it says when a company announced the second security breach in December, oh, and my bad, December is when I remember, you know, talking about it or actually hearing about it. But it says it said the back bad actors use information obtained from the first incident to get into his cloud services. Now we know what that is, that what actually happened in that first incident. It's just they wasn't making any noise, you know, for a while while they were sitting in there doing reconnaissance and getting data from the S3 buckets that they did. But it says it also admitted that the hackers made off with a bunch of sensitive information, including its Amazon S3 buckets. To be able to access the data saved in those buckets, the hackers needed decryption keys saved in highly restricted set of shared folders in a LastPass password manager vault. That's why the bad actors target one of the four DevOps engineers who had access to the keys needed to unlock the company's cloud stores. Now that's crazy right there. That's why they went after it. And this is what this is like a form of whaling. If you guys went through any, you know, type of cybersecurity training or cybersecurity courses, they always talk about whaling. Well, that's essentially going after specific targets within an organization it could be high level targets it be it could be like the president of the company or you know uh the cto so the chief technology officer going after someone like that but this is you know it's more specific who they went after so that's why i say it's almost like well and they went specifically after those DevOps engineers you know to get access to those keys they needed now it says in a support document PDF the company released via bleeping computer, it detailed the data accessed by the threat actors during the two incidents. Uh, apparently the cloud-based backups access during the second breach included API secrets, third party integration secrets, customer metadata, and backups of all customer vault data. The company insists that all sensitive customer bought data aside from some exceptions can only be decrypted with unique encryption keys derived from each user's master password. And it also states the company added that it doesn't store users' master passwords. LastPass also detailed the steps it has taken to strengthen its defenses going forward, including revising its threat detection and making a multi-million dollar allocation to enhance its investment in security across people, processes, and technology. So they're actually fighting against this. It looks like they, you know, doing what they can. I mean, obviously, because it's a business, I'm sure when those articles came out, they lost clients. They lost people that pay for the paid service of LastPass in order to protect their passwords. And uh, people lose confidence when they see things like this. Uh, confidence in the company. You know what I'm saying? On its ability to protect them. Even though no one information actually got taken or wasn't decrypted uh, based on the articles and everything, people still lo lose faith in the company or the organization because these passwords or your livelihood a lot of times, uh, a lot of people store things in password managers, like your bank account information. You know, I've, I I know people that save their social security numbers in there uh, cause they can't remember them, which, you know, 
we're growing up in a you know a different time or it's a different era now where everybody stores things uh in something that instead of remembering it you know what i'm saying like when i was growing up we used to have to remember our social security number um and remember you know everybody's phone number like if you wanted to make a call to someone uh that you were friends with you had to remember that number or write it down somewhere you know what i'm saying but most of the time it's easier to just remember the number but anyway this is a you know a new time but that's pretty much it on this article it kind of covers you know in detail what actually happened but like i said they'll go after if hackers want to hack you they'll go after uh whoever whenever you know in order to get into either an organization or just hack someone in general so you should be very careful you know on what you store out there um and just keep certain things to your chest you know what i'm saying but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said this was an awesome auto article you know kind of covering the final investigation of this last pass security breach and i hope that this you know video has provided you with some valuable insight into the incident as well as steps that you could take to protect your sensitive information so please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it taking